Now this one's missing its cover, but it's 8283 and about the first catalogue that I had. And there's a message from the man himself saying that although we may have to rationalise our range, the electronic enthusiast will always be number one at DSE. The VIC-20, new for 82. System 80 is, is pushed back to uh, about page 6, but with additional features and a lower price. More computers, the Sorcerer, CPM. The old acoustic modem still there, with a Telecom Australia permit number. More phones. Now, this was the first item I got from a Dick Smith catalogue, the Pocket Com Walkie Talkie. $9.95, I only bought one, couldn't afford two, but eventually got another. A super regenerative receiver, there's only about four transistors in. AM transmitter on 27145 meg. You couldn't talk to any CBs, just other pocket comms and other walkie talkies. You turn it on, there's no squelch, the thing will just hiss. Maybe it went about 50 or 100 meters, not very much. I would have loved one of those radios back then, but in reality it was a pretty mediocre performer, I think. More stereos, speakers. Audio, there's a radar detector there, $269, an aid to safer driving. AM push button radios, well, you know, FM had started, but a lot of places in the country still had AM, and there is a radio for you there. CBs, 40 channel, now legal. What you made us again? Well, my first one wasn't from any of these pages. It was a Tandy one, though, one of those kits that you put together. Probably similar to something like this, but didn't have a rotary switch. It just had uh, a few sockets, and you plugged the probes into whatever range you wanted to measure. Now, this was way ahead of its time. Electronic shopping from your own computer without leaving your home. Remember, this is about 1982. While everyone else is talking about it, Dick Smith has done it. The revolutionary development puts buying in the 21st century. Your computer talks to ours. And there's a special program you had to pay $5 for. And there's your normal mail order form we all knew and loved. Turn your old TV into a crow. The kit, a classic, was an electronic cricket. Sound bender, hot canary, leads and ladders. Vernier Drive, $5.20. And data section. Understanding component values. UHF transceiver. I don't know if these ever hit the market, but anyway, a basic UHF CB. I think around the time of the Philips 320, etc. Jump forward a few years, 86, 87. Now I was building some real radio equipment then, or trying to. Most of it didn't work. Change of ownership then, so uh, no longer Dick Smith at the helm. But open the page and there's Little Dick. And Funway 1 kits right at the beginning. And a lot of amateur kits then. 70 centimetres, the uh, Explorer, or did they call it the Exploder? Then there was the Commander, the 2 metre version. Too complex for me, I was just fiddling about with Morse code transmitters then. And an HF rig would have been great. Radio direction finders, Ritty kits, 2 metre linear amps. This was probably about the time when uh, Dick Smith had more amateur kits than, uh, than ever before or since. And then there's test gear. Still the Playmaster amps.
Little Dick's family album, a tagged tantalum. Power supplies. Batteries. 12 volt, 6.5 amp power gel cell. 49.95. You can get them cheaper in 2011. Amazing. Lots of boxes. The fun page. Little Dick was the big thing. Little Dick's lid. Join the Little Dick fan club. And a key finder. You whistle it and it finds your keys. Irish calculator. One for each finger. Coughing ashtray. Then test gear. A lot more digital multimeters then. But you've still got a page of analogs. Now receivers, Sanjian makes an appearance. There's a Regency scanner. FRG8800 was the top of the line. And for VHF, the FRG9600. Never had one, apparently a great scanner. And then HF transceivers. Prices were getting up then. So they're listing all the amateurs on their staff. Two meter rigs. Look at their price. $879. In 2011, a fraction of that. And you probably get a dual bander with 70 centimeters. Another UHF CB. Uniden Sundowner. About the same price. Bit dearer than a 27 meg SSB rig. Satellite TV. Mail order. Robots. Negative iron generators. Now they were big for a while and there were projects in the magazines you could build your own. And of course the novelty page, backward clock. Is it four o'clock? No, it's actually eight o'clock and the hands go backwards. And then beepers before mobile phones. You rang up a number and it would beep to you. You could actually plug things into the phone socket. You didn't have to buy everything from telecom. And they were going like Tandy. Novelty radios. The AM talking radio. All weather. Or the Cube. IBM compatible. I suppose it was like an XT. Laptops. $3,000. Now you can get something that does more for about a fifth that. And if you couldn't afford $3,000, halve it and get a transportable instead. The Bondwell 14. There's the cat colour computer. Oh, and the VZ300. A lot more IC data, but a lot smaller as well. A bulletin board listings. And there's Little Dick again. Into the 90s. 9192. No sign of Little Dick anymore. Lots of consumer stuff. Whole heap of Walkmans. Look at them. And multicoloured radios. Definitely trying to be like Tandy. And at the foot of every page. A little witty comment. The trouble with facts is that there are so many of them. Crime pays. And if it doesn't, you do. I'm a fairy. My name is Nuff. Fair enough. Portable karaoke system, $249. Mobile phones, what cellular? Handheld or transportable or car phones. And then fax machines are coming in. Nearly $1,700 for one. A 386SX, $2,995. Looks like you get colour on the screen. Build your own computer power supplies. 
graphics adapters. And there's CBs, their prices are coming down. The infamous D2832 shortwave VHF multiband radio. If you're tempted to buy one because of the price, as a beginner, well, I don't think you would have been very happy. It wasn't very stable. On VHF it had a free running oscillator. And it was as deaf as a post. Not only Funway 1, Funway 2, but also Funway 3. Ten more projects. Kit, a portable AM stereo radio. And there's also a synthesized stereo AM tuner. And there's still the sayings at the bottom. If you aren't rich, you should always look useful. A nose by any other name would smell. And just above, amateur radio. Another 2 meter FM rig, a bit of an update, and apparently a much better unit. And converters for 2 meters and 70 centimeters. They went on to an FM receiver. I'm not sure about the choice of that. 6 meters FM is pretty dead. I would have had it on 2 meters FM and had converters down to there. But I did build this VHF FM monitor receiver. That was a little thing, used an MC3362, and it was a great little set. Free running oscillator, but it came with its 10 turn pot, and it covered 2 meters FM. And um, I used this for my first 2 meter FM transceiver. Put that in the box, and then a crystal control transmitter with 5 or 6 channels, and it was great. I tried it portable or, or mobile. Multimeter. That's the one I had. I got that as a birthday present. A lot more digital. By Digitor, another Dick Smith house brand. Solar panels. Have a look at this. $179 for 10 watts, 21 volts open circuit, 444 by 267 millimeters. Panel meters. And of course, vernier reduction drives. Not only the complete dial drive assembly with the knob, but you've also got a short form, just the drive itself. Reduction drives were great. I use them in so many of my projects. Boxes. Looks like an even bigger range. 